Welcome to my channel's Striker 24x7. If you like my YouTube videos then subscribe, click the bell icon, like, comment, and share. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install VC Box 10 in standalone or single server setup. As of making this video, the latest VC Box version is 10.0.0. Steps to be followed. I have split the installation steps into four phases. Phase 1 downloading and booting the VC box ISO. Phase 2. Language, keyboard layout, time zone setup and network configuration. Phase 3. OS updates. Finally, Phase 4. VC dial installation. Phase 1. Downloading the VC box ISO file. The latest VC box ISO file can be downloaded from the VC box official site, that is http colon slash slash vcbox.com. The VC box ISO and other VC dial files can also be downloaded from the VC dial repo, that is, http colon slash slash download.vcdial.com. Phase 1. Booting the VC box ISO file. If you are installing the VC box in a bare metal server, then burn the ISO to a DVD and boot the server with VC box bootable DVD. Or you can boot with USB pen drive by converting the VC box ISO to USB bootable using ISO to USB converter. If you are installing VC box in a virtual machine or any hosted server, you can boot directly the ISO file, using their IP KVM. Let's jump to my server, to demonstrate the phase 1 installation. I'm going to use VMware to install the VC box. Boot the server with ISO file or DVD drive, and while booting select the boot media. As soon the boot page appears, press the down arrow and select install VC box V10 option. Now the booting process starts. Select yes to erase all the data in the disk, which installs VC box as fresh installation. In phase 1, the VC box ISO loads all the files to the hard disk. Phase 1 installation completed, now you can remove the VC box DVD or bootable USB driver from the server. Now let's proceed with Phase 2 installation. Phase 2, Initial Configuration. Under Phase 2, you have to log into the server, using the VC box default root password that is VC dial. As soon as you log into the VC box new installation console for the first time, it will prompt you to change the OS language, keyboard layout, time zone settings, and finally force you to change the root password. Followed to that, you need to manually finish the network configuration. Before proceeding with network configuration, you need to have the network details in hand. Like IP address for the VC box. Subnet mask of your network. Gateway IP address of your network. DNS IP address. Host name. Domain name. If you don't have FQDN simple use vcbox.local. To configure the network settings, you need type the command, yaslan. Let's jump to my VC box server and finish the phase 2 installation steps. As said earlier, log in to the VC box as root user using VC dial as password. As soon you logged in, you will be prompted with OS language selection, select your preferred language. Next select the keyboard layout, leave it to default US. Followed to that, read and accept the VC box license agreement, by pressing exit and yes. Next set the time zone, for demo purpose I am selecting America New York as my time zone. Now VC box force you to change the root password, for better security set a strong password. Next we need to configure the network settings. Type the command. YAS LAN for Network Manager. Now under Network Manager select the interface and press Enter, or press Alt-I. Next under Network Card Setup, 
Disable DHCP options by navigating to statically assign IP address and enable it. Now under IP address section, enter the IP address of the server. Next enter subnet mask of your network. Next under host name, enter a name example, myvcbox.local. Once done, select next and enter. Now in network settings, select routing option to set the gateway. Under routing, enable the IPv4 forwarding option. Next navigate to routing table and select add. In next screen, enter the gateway IP address and select the interface associated to this network and press OK. Next we need to set the DNS IP, navigate to hostname slash DNS section, or just press Alt plus S in keyboard. Now under static hostname, enter a name example myvcbox.local. Navigate to DNS section and under name sever1, enter your DNS IP, if don't know then use 8.8.8.8. Finally press OK to finish the network configuration settings. Now network settings reload to take effect the changes. Now type IF config to check the IP address of the server. Finally give a reboot to the server, to take effect all the changes. Let's proceed with the phase 3. Phase 3, OS update. It is always best practice to update the OS before proceeding with software installation. To start the update in VC box, type the command Zyper ref to refresh all installed repositories for the latest packages. Follow to that type the command Zyper up, to install updated packages and any package changes. This step might take a while depending upon your internet connection, so better have a cup of coffee during this process. Let's jump to my VC box server and finish the phase 3 installation. Log in to your VC box server with new root password. Now type Zyper REF. This will refresh all installed repositories for the latest packages. Follow to that type Zyper up. Then type Y to continue the updates. Finally it is must to reboot the server after update, type reboot to reboot the server. Let's proceed with phase 4 installation. Phase 4, VC dial installation. There are two methods for VC dial installation. First options is VC box express install. And second options is VC box, expert mode. The express mode is used for single server setup installation which auto-installs all the required packages with pre-defined configurations, like database, web server, asterisk, PHP my admin, firewall and with default settings. The VC box, expert mode is mostly used for cluster setup, but also recommended for single server setup. Under expert mode, you can define which packages need to install, firewall enable or disable, and custom credentials for database. For VC box, Express mode you need to type the command VC box hyphen express. And for VC box, expert mode you need to type the command VC box hyphen install. Follow to that VC installation wizard starts, you need to follow the prompts. I always prefer VC box, expert mode. So in this video I am proceeding with expert mode. Let's jump to my server and finish the phase 4. Log in to your VC box as root user. Now type VC box hyphen install to proceed with VC box expert mode installation. The first message in wizard is whether to proceed VC box installation. So type Y and press enter to proceed. Next it will ask whether to proceed with expert installation, say yes and proceed. Next it will auto detect your sever IP and ask whether to use same IP address for VC dial access, say yes and proceed. Next it will prompt for, whether this server is used as database, say yes and proceed. 
Next for slave database option, say no and proceed. Next option is whether to use the default database settings, say yes and proceed. Next whether this server will be used as web server, say yes and proceed. Follow to that say yes to install redirect page, this will enable auto redirection to VC dial welcome page. Next say no for the PHP my admin. Next for the telephony server options, say yes and proceed. Next for archive server option, say no and proceed. Next option whether you need to enable or disable inbuilt firewall, say no and proceed, you can configure and enable the same later. Finally it will ask whether to continue or not with the settings provided, if you want change any option then say no, otherwise say yes and proceed. Now the phase 4 installation begins, note during this process internet connection is required in server, which downloads the latest VC dial version and installs. Once installation completed, reboot the server once. Once server booted up, log in as root user. Next to confirm, whether we done installation perfectly, type screen hyphen list. It should display minimum 9 or above sockets running. Well we have completed the VC box standalone server installation. Now you can access your server by browsing the server IP. Log in to the administration portal with default username 6666 and password 1234. As soon you logged in, finish the VC dial initial setups, like changing admin password, time zone settings, default phone registration password, default phone login etc. Check out this video description for the VC dial post install initial configuration video, and VC dial basic configuration for inbound and outbound setups videos, like adding users, carriers, campaigns, DID, IVR etc. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.